So today in this video, I'm gonna kind of do I don't like a review pro con what I like about it comparison uh, review thingy <laughs> of the Graco Forever Extend to Fit car seat. So I have I bought this one for Camira and the one that we have currently for Maven is just the Graco Forever. Um, convertible the I guess this pretty much the, in my opinion it's the same car seat the extended fit is just a little bit more updated has a few more little bells and whistles on it than the um, convertible did uh, which Maven is in so I guess let's get started so here's the car seat I'll get everything adjusted here because my camera system sucks but so, <laughs> so here is the extend to fit. It is in color Kenzie. It has these super cute pink little bows, and this is pink, and all the lining is pink. Um, so the differences that I immediately noticed between this one and the regular Forever convertible is obviously this. This is a leg expansion room. It gives you an extra five inches instead of just having the regular leg space. Um, the other difference is, is right down here is the recline button. You just pull this and it reclines it. Um, on the regular Graco Forever, it was right here where the now extension piece is. The other thing that I've noticed is a little bit different is the cup holders, which I personally prefer these cup holders more because the cup holders are in closer, where with Maven, they're more farther out and she, ha she has a really hard time reaching them. Um, so I do like that. Of course, the print is super cute. I love that they came out with, you know, one with bows and not just like a standard, oh, here's a pink car seat for your little girl or a little boy, whatever you want. Um, so those were the obvious differences that you see as far as looks go. Um, the padding is also a little different, like the infant padding is a little bit different. Um, this piece does come out and so does this whole piece and whatnot. If you would like this to stay in because you just like the cute little bows like I do, it does come apart from this bottom piece, so even when they get bigger, you can take this out and leave this piece in. Um, which, with Maven's car seat, the Graco Forever convertible, you couldn't do that. The whole, this whole piece just came out. So, unfortunately, she lost the cute little design um, infancy piece when she grew out of it. So, um... Pretty much the differences as far as specs go, um, the this one is from 4 to 50 pounds rear facing, um, Maven's I do believe is only 4 to 40 pounds or 4 to 45 pounds. Um, this one is also for rear facing up to 65 pounds, I'm not sure exactly with Maven's because she is still in rear facing. Um, but yeah, so I will do kind of like a little side, a side view of the car seat, back view, that's, you know, it's pretty, pretty standard. Um, all car seats have to pass certain safety specs and inspections, so some people worry about a specific car seat ba brand being better in, like, safety aspect than the other. I mean, there might be some things, but overall, every car seat has to pass a, a basic safety inspection. Whether or not they did extra safety inspections is up to them. So here's like a side view of this coming out. An extra five inches of space, which would be nice because Maven's got her feet crossed all the time now, which sucks, but her car seat's still great, so we're not gonna up update it. Um, here is how far it can... Toby, your nose is in the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> these are the reclining positions. It has six. This being the totally sitting up. This being totally laying down. Um, 
so there's that. So uh, we'll do like a little bit more of a up close uh, look at the design. This is kind of like a little like a meshy aerated. It's really fluffy. So I feel like this would be really easy to clean. So yeah, my camera system really does suck, so I apologize for having to like fix it every single time I show you guys something. But uh, come here, tell them tell them what you think as as far as um, as a daddy's opinion on it. Daddy's opinion on it. Yeah. All right. Well. I like that it's got that extra the extra side impact stuff on it. Really like that. As you can see, it shows right there. Uh, being a dad that has leather seats, automatically what made me a little irritated is that uh, with the Forever they put the rounded bottom on it, which is awesome because you don't even need a pad to put it on your seat if you're getting in a friend's car. Uh, or if you're getting in your own vehicle quick and you don't want to put, set up the pad with the buckles, that rounded bottom made all the difference and it didn't leave any indents in the seat. But this is automatically, I guarantee, gonna leave gonna leave marks in your seat. I guarantee it. But other than that, it's exactly the same as the Forever, just cheaper, essentially. Yeah, that was the other thing that I noticed. Um, this one, I think we spent $170 on, and the Forever, we spent an upwards of almost $300 on it. Even though they're almost exactly the same car seat, and like I said before, this one just has a few more bells and whistles and things that I prefer better over that car seat. So, um, overall, so far, we're happy with it. Uh, it's exactly what we were looking for because we loved Maven's car seat so much. We wanted to buy the same or we found this one had came that we found out that this one had come out um so we went either wanted the same or a better similar car seat to hers um but the fact of the matter was i would rather pay like a hundred dollars less for a car seat that's a little bit better and has more bells and whistles to qualities that we liked about it than paying 300 for <laughs> another car seat so I also noticed that the, the tightening strap is different for tightening the buckles oh it is yep totally different it's on the forevers the buttons just right there on the surface there's not all this gap in here and the buckle for the forever yeah a little bit further out okay so that's directly under the butt just about so pretty much uh yeah, pretty much what he's saying with this one is that... You pull the strap, as you know, to tighten up the, the belts. And then there's a little button underneath the fabric that you have to push. You push that, pull it up, to pull the straps out. And then you pull it to tighten them. And Maven always likes to pull the strap and it gets the belts really cinched up so you have to tuck it down underneath. So positioning, I think, is really important so that they don't pull it as much. So I don't know how that'll work because obviously we haven't tested it, so. <laughs> yeah, um, the other thing that I've kind of noticed is the button is a lot farther under the fabric. Yep. Like with, like the button is probably about right here. And with, uh, with the forever, the regular convertible forever, you know, the button is much, 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 very, very much so right under the right under the, the fabric there. The fabric hole right here, so. Yeah. But overall, I absolutely love it. I think it's super cute. It's the quality that we were looking for. And uh, I can't wait to uh, try it out. So if you guys have any questions or comments on it, or if you'd like a more in-depth review on how to kind of take it apart, put it forward facing and all of that good, just good stuff, uh, just let me know. And I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.